onions. They are the most universal vegetable and it's one of the oldest vegetables in the world. There is no place on the planet that doesn't have some kind of onion. I want to show you the diversity of onions that are fresh. Right down here I have these three are called winter storage onions. These are called spring fresh onions. And that's the main two categories of onions. Now, we also have onions in this shape, which is just a smaller version of this, because this is actually at the bottom of one of theirs. But these are called leeks, and these are called spring onions or green onions, and some people use them as scallions. This is going to be another show, because the way we fix these is a little different than the way that we do with the bulb onions. So I wanted to show you some of the easy ways to use it and how to dice it, how not to cry, hopefully. Um, so let's get started on that. In this pot, I have been boiling a whole onion. I just took an onion, and especially the summer fresh ones, um, and I just skinned it, took the paper skin off, and put it in this pot. And it's been boiling probably about 20 minutes. And usually you test it to see if it's done by poking it with a fork. Ooh, and it's real soft on the outside. Not, yeah, not quite done. But I just wanted to show you that this is a really easy thing to do. You could come home, pop that into the, um, ouch. You can pop that into the pan and just boil it. And then you can serve it with the uh, butter and salt and pepper. And when you slice into it, there you go, you've got all these pieces and you can cut them up and you've got a vegetable. Uh, the nutritional value of onions is amazing for what you think it would have in it. Um, it's got some flavonoids, it's got some uh, vitamin C, it's got lots of water, which is in the spring we really need it. And then this is the center. So you can just serve these with butter and salt and pepper. And if you'll notice the middle one, it went down further. There's the stem part and you just cut it off. Anything that's not white, you cut it off. There are three basic colors of onions when you buy them. Um, there's red, there's white, and there's yellow. And 78% uh, of all the onions that we buy are yellow. Um, a few are red and the rest are white. So this is a really fast way to cook onions, to get it into the meal. Um, and you could also microwave it, but I find that it's much better boiled. You could also stick these, a whole one, in the oven with, like with a roast or just to cook them like a potato. People don't have, know the, all the ways you can use an onion. So that's our basic, simple way to do it. And then, of course, most of us think of it as a, something that we dice up or slice up and use that way. I'm going to put these aside. They're still pretty warm. Um, when I was working with some Russian peoples, eating onions was like part of their diet. And you know, I always thought that maybe they're bad, they have beautiful complexions. And I thought maybe this was the secret to theirs, it was onions. Okay, now this is an onion I've already cut because I wanted you to see this is the spring onion. It, and it, you notice it's a little bit smaller, but it is really juicy. And when you look at the outside of it, there's not a lot of paper, papery skin on them. They have a lot less of the paper that you peel off their skin. And, but they are really juicy. This is just, it just started pouring out the water when I cut it. Um, let me see if I can cut you another slice here. And then what you can do with these is you can peel them, take off the skin that has the papery stuff. Not very chewable, not very digestible. And then you can break this into circles. And then you can have several options of what to do with this after you've broken it up into circles. You can saute them and then add other vegetables to them or add them to other vegetables. Or you could coat these and make them into onion rings. Um, the fresher ones make fresher, juicier onion rings, the ones that are the spring ones. You can also get onions on the store shelf. This is the French fried onions. They are already fried for you. You can add those to casseroles or on top of vegetables. This is the pickled onions. 
This I bought was because it was a variety pack and there is onions in here with other vegetables. This is the crispy fried onion bits. It's kind of like bacon bits, except that it's onion bits. Great for addition to salads. Or if you, we're gonna be having to crank up a lot of onions for a big dinner, you can buy them already diced for you. Now, to cut this up and to dice it, which is another way a lot of people like it, is not very hard to do. And some people try too hard. You know, let's do it the easy way. That's my thing, easy cooking. So, there's the, this is the root end. You'll notice the little roots are still hanging on there. You try to keep those on. You can cut it through. And then you can take off the outer one. And then you can go in different, this way if you want to dice it. And you put it back together and you dice it. Now we're going to saute the onions. Just melt a little butter in the pan. And then we come over here and we'll pick up all the ones. And it doesn't matter if you've sliced them, made them into rings, or even to slices. You just put them in here. And I usually do it on high and keep it stirred. But if you had something else to do, you can put it on like medium and let it keep cooking. And as soon as they're transparent, they are cooked through and they don't have to be, or you can keep them going and they'll turn brown and be caramelized. Now, the most beautiful color of onion is the red onion. It's one of the ones we have the least of, but let me tell you, when you wanted to do slices for your hamburgers, every circle has red on it. So we're gonna cut a section for slices and we're gonna pretend like we're gonna put these on the hamburgers. And you probably wouldn't want to give somebody a whole plate of it like this. So you just take that off. It takes off the outer skin. And then you can break, give them this in the whole package and they can put that on their hamburger or you can break it up into its circles. And you'll notice that every circle will have the red on it. It is the most beautiful addition to salads also. So go to my website. I've got a lot more information about onions.